Detective, how goes it? Always a pleasure. And what brings you all the way out here? Can I come in? Sure, come in. idea. That's a second metacarpal bone. That's a medical term for one of the bones in your hand. And where'd you come up with that? In the pits behind the Hillman cabin. You ever consider a second career in archaeology? You're not bad. Sloppy. I can't keep coming up your messes. My mess? Look, I know you can't control yourself, okay? And it's because you're my stepbrother that I couldn't cover for you. But you know what? When you're gonna do something, for Christ's sake, could you let me know so I don't get blindsided at work? Well, you were out of town, and I was in town, and she was there. Well, what the hell happened? Tell me everything. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw her hitching down Tollgate Road. It was like divine intervention. I pulled over and she got in. At first, I was going to let her go, but it was so perfect. I couldn't help myself. I was really excited about this one. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Where are you heading? Uh, to Litchfield, but as far as you're going, it's fine. Oh, I'm going the same way. Hop in. Well, I forgot to mention, I have to stop by my place on the way over there to pick something up. It'll only take a minute. Is that okay? Okay, that's fine. My name's Toby, by the way. I'm Grace. It's nice to meet you. So, what's in Litchfield? Well, I told somebody I'd meet him there. So why didn't he pick you up? He doesn't have a car. So, what do you do for a living? I own a crematorium. That's pretty interesting. I always thought when I die, I'm going to be buried so my body can naturally decompose with me. Well, the problem is there's only so much space in the world. We're running out of room. And with the population explosion, the world will soon become an endless landscape of graveyards and memorials. Does it smell when you burn the bodies? Oh, actually, no. That's the whole thing. You could say that people pay big bucks not to smell the aroma of their burning loved ones. My house is just up this way. I want to be sure. Hey, uh, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Oh, sure. Right this way. The bathroom's back that way. I'll go get my stuff.
So why didn't you take her to the crematorium? Somebody was there. I couldn't risk it. Fuck! So you decide to burn her body up in the Hillman pits? Like you're having a fucking powwow? What the fuck are you thinking? You're getting sloppy. You're getting sloppy, Toby. And you're losing it. Will you listen? Now, after we left the crematorium, I dragged her down to the Hillman pit. It's wonderful, wonderful in every way, so they say. Oh, I got an interesting one for you. Reports of a funny smell. And no, it had nothing to do with that burrito I had at lunch. What are you talking about? A funny smell. <sighs> Report came in that some lady out in the sticks smelled a foul odor. Said the smell was so pungent she could taste it. Hmm. What do you want me to do about it? Call the fire department? No. What I want you to do is get your ass in gear, get out that old compass. Get out there and see what's been burning. And look, Detective, since November, we've had reports of six missing people. Mostly junkies and criminals, low profile cases, but nonetheless, it ain't gonna be long for the media's up both our asses. And I got a fire burning out there, some lady smelling it, we're leaving a shit like taste in her mouth, and it's coming from a burn free zone. I don't care if it's a fiery fecal fucking disaster. Get out there, Jake. Dig up some shit. Do some good. And if you can't do that, then for the love of Christ, do me a favor. When the feds show up and start tearing me a new rectum over why none of these cases have been resolved, at least for once in your life, pretend to be a cop. For me. Can you do that? Well, that sounds like some real detective work. Maybe I could send a copy to the forensic pathologist and he can examine the shit out of it. Whatever, Sherborne. Just <laughs> get out of my face. Ms. Hillman. Hello. I'm Detective Sherburn. Oh, I smelled. Was the statue burning? Pee you. Don't know what's burning back there. But I figured I'd better give you a call with all the weird stuff going on in town lately. It's all, it's all word sick. Has there been any news about the missing people? No, not yet, ma'am. Hmm. You know what? If you if you think of anything else. I want you to take my card here. I want you to call me personally on this, okay? I'm gonna get back here and take a look, but if you can think of anything else that might be helpful, we'd appreciate it.
Yeah, Sherborne. Sherborne. Any leads on a stench leaving killer? No, seriously. What'd you find out there? Yeah, well, I. I. I talked to the lady. The lady who registered the complaint. Yes. What she saw was just some kids that just went back in there and was fooling around and she smelled something. All right. That's what I figured. Damn kids. Yeah, I took a walk back in there. I didn't really find anything, but, uh, well, I did find like a little piece of bone, but I'm sure it's a small animal or something. I don't care if it's the ass bone of a muskrat. We need to have something to show for all of this. Are you going to send that over to the lab? Yeah, I'm going to take it to forensics myself. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yes. Yes, Captain. Bye. That was my fault. I should have used more methanol. I'm sorry, Jake. I screwed that one up. Oh, man, you really, you really buried us here. Don't you get it? You're on your own, man. What are you worried about? They're not on to you. They're not on to me. It's just the two of us, Jake. You wouldn't put me out, would you? After all, we're family. Well, I don't know. What happens when the feds show up and they put the fire pit lady together with all the missing persons? How could they? Huh. They could look into my investigation reports. There's a lot of holes in there, as you might know. And then there's me with my pants down. They're going to look you can bet they're going to look into me, Toby. Oh, man, I'm the lead investigator in the case. What do you want me to do? Tell them they all just disappear? Yes. Yes what? I did make them disappear. All human matter gone. I'm a morticianary magician. No remnants left to show that they were murders. Bullshit. That bonfire was a hack job and you know it. You wanted to get caught. You wanted them to catch on. You need to see your work in the papers. You want to become famous like Bundy or Dahmer or Gacy. I gotta tell you, I don't think you have it in you. Then one of these days, somebody's gonna start putting things together and then you're a dead man and so am I. We're all waiting to die, Jake. But don't worry. I give half price to family members in the crematorium. Not anymore. I'm out. You're on your own. It'll never be over, Jake. But you did the world a favor. You should be proud.
Suddenly, suddenly, stop. 